Hi guys, happy Sunday. It is Sunday. Um, so I just want to take this Sunday to talk about having a foundation. Um, there are, I may have mentioned it before, but there are six, I call them slices of the pie. Lately, I've called them pillars or foundational activities that I do every single day so that I continue to make progress every week. Uh, those six pillars are my spiritual health, my physical health, my emotional health, my hydration, my meal plan, and service to the communities that I'm in. I shared this on Friday night with my support group, my weight loss support group, and um, I wanted to share it here as well. First of all, the most important one is my spiritual health. For me, that includes what I talked about uh, last week or the week before, which is making sure I have a devotional life every single day so every single morning I get up and I pray and I read scripture I do a little devotional and I journal I do two-way prayer with God where I write out my prayer to him and I write out the response I feel like I'm hearing from him I talk about everything anything all the things that if I don't talk about them I would eat over so I make sure that they, I leave nothing that I'm worried about, concerned about, or stressed about because I'm a stress eater, I'm a compulsive eater, and I am I'm a sugar addict. So that is the most important thing for not just my um, weight loss journey, but for my journey in life. Uh, having a relationship with God, not religion. I have a relationship, a personal relationship with God. I talk to him every single day. And it has been phenomenal to even include the weekends because I was letting it slide on the weekends. But now I make sure I get up and I do that. So that's number one. My physical health uh, has to be a close second because I sit all day long and at work and I don't have an active lifestyle like my job before I used to walk a lot I could get eight to ten thousand steps in a day at my previous job but in this job I'm sedentary so in the mornings I make sure I do cardio for half an hour at all five days a week cardio half an hour at the minimum I do 30 minutes of strength training or functional training and I record it on my Apple Watch. And in my um in my Apple in my phone. So I do that and on Saturday and Sunday I'm just active. I'm out and about, I'm doing things. It's not like sitting for 8 hours when I'm at work Monday through Friday. So I'm not concerned about the weekends. And I find that even when I am not eating the best in my meal plan being active consistently i've been consistent since february of this year the consistency has brought me good results like even the times where i'm not in ketosis i'm not gaining weight my weight stays or i lose depending on how well i'm doing um, and i think that my physical health has a lot to do with that i my goal with my physical health is to reduce inflammation, bottom line. So that being said, I stopped um, consuming the premier protein shakes because of the long list of ingredients. I am doing my best to eat things that only have five ingredients or less. And I bought these. This is the caramel, salted caramel one. I bought it. I tried it 
this morning. It was pretty good. And I bought this, um, the chocolate one, and I tried it last night, and it was pretty good. Um, I have to get used to them. I don't like why I blended them with my um, small blender, and it made a lot of foam. I'm not a fan of foam, y'all. I just feel like I'm just, it's just puff. It's no substance to it. So I have to figure out how to mix it. I don't know if I'm going to use a hand, like just mix it in a, a shaker bottle. I don't know, but we'll see. Um, I've only tried it once. I used it in my um, my protein cereal this morning, the caramel one. It is not like the cinnamon roll, but I'll make do because my health is more important than my taste buds. My taste buds will have to adjust. So I'm adjusting things there. Um, the third pillar is my emotional health. And for me, that means doing things that keep me uh, from spiraling out. Um, I, I have a business where I make things out of denim. And so sewing is therapeutic for me. I do some hand sewing when I'm sitting watching TV. I listen to worship music. I listen to podcasts. I, I, I journal. I call a friend or I call a fellow in my, um, in my uh, weight loss support group and talk to them. I um, talk to them about things that may be causing me some resentment or some grief. It's just to make sure that I don't have anything emotionally draining or pulling on me because I will eat over it if I do that. Uh, the fourth thing for me is water because I've had gastric bypass surgery I can't drink water like I used to. I have to drink a uh, 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 sip or two, and then I have to wait, and then I can drink some more, and then I have to wait. And while talking about that, I know a lot of people use Element. I like Element, I really do, but it's expensive. And I think that I wanna continue to use Element here and there but I find that I really only want it because it's sweetened because I, I did buy the variety pack which just had the unsweetened one and it was meh <laughs> I mean I like it because the water was cold but it didn't have that flavor that I was craving basically it didn't have the sweet that I was craving which I have to watch because I like I said I am a, um, a sugar addict. So I'm trying out different electrolytes and I really like water without it. I like water in my, um, in my new water bottle. Um, I'm really enjoying that because it stays cold throughout the day. And so getting my water in is very important to me. I try to drink as much as I can in the morning before I start eating. And then I try to get as much as I can by the end of the day. So I try to get 64 ounces, which used to be a breeze, but now it takes effort because I have to pause between when I eat and drink. 30 minutes before I have to stop drinking, then 30 minutes after I eat, I can start drinking again. So there's a whole like hour and a half that I can't drink anything around my meal. Um, so that puts, uh, um, that puts limitations on how often I can drink. And because of the size of my stomach, it puts limitations on how much I can drink. The fifth thing for me, um, what did I say they were? Well, I'm going to say well, the thing that's come to mind now. Yeah, that was the one, two, three, four. Spiritual, mental, physical, water, service. Oh, my meal plan. So you all know about my meal plan. I don't really need to go into it. I'm ketovore. I am low carb, 
high protein sometimes, high fat other times. I can't do high fat all the time. I do like when I do high fat. Um, and I'm finding ways to incorporate more fat. Like I bought some heavy whipping cream and I added that to my protein shake, which was great. Um, not a lot of it, but enough to give me the high fat that I needed. So I'm still working out my keto life. And the last thing is service. So I am a huge component of reaching out to other people instead of thinking of myself. Like, instead of being in my own head about myself all the time, me, 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 I choose to see what I can do for other people, how I can be of service, places that I can serve in my communities. I serve at church. Um, I serve by reaching out to other people in my church, being a friend, um, you know, in order to have friends, you got to be a friend first. So I do that in my church community, uh, in my weight loss community. I serve in meetings. I make phone calls. I open myself up for phone calls by providing my number to others. And I like to make sure that, um, People know that I'm available. And if I'm not, if they call and I'm at work, I text them right away to let them know, hey, I'm at work. What's a good time I can call you back? I mean, it's it's the little things, but it honestly keeps me from being self-absorbed, which is part of my problem when it comes to getting in my own head about how I eat and what's going on in my life. So those are the things I wanted to talk about today was those six ways that I have a foundation in my life to stay on track with doing all the things that I want to strive for. It's like we can want it, but if we don't have an action plan, it doesn't happen. So that's my action plan. And I am going to take some time to break down... Um, well, probably not because I have I have a little bit of footage that I'm going to show how I've improved in my workout, um, going from barely being able to walk for 10 minutes and walk in place for 10 minutes to now jogging in place for half an hour at 180 beats per minute. That's huge to me. And I am going to continue to look for ways that I can challenge myself and grow in each one of these areas, not just where it looks like you hear people say, oh, I'm on a weight loss journey. Well, this is what my weight loss journey looks like. It's more than just weight loss. It's my life journey. So that's all I want to share today. And thank you so much for listening. Like, comment, subscribe if you like. Uh, I love all the comments that people have been making and the suggestions. You guys have been really, really helpful. And I appreciate it because like I said from the beginning, I don't know where this is going. I don't know what I'm doing. Half the time, I'm just showing up. And for me, showing up is enough. I let God do the rest. And with that, you guys have a blessed week. Deuces. Hundred and eighty beats per minute. Been a long time since I did a walk and workout record it. Steady state cardio today. 180 beats per minute. For 30 minutes. It took me a long time to get to where I could do this whole half hour.
but I did it and I'm still moving. Now it's time for the cool down. Deuces.